black that men make my ass bitch. I have decided that I am single, celibate, and no longer willing to date anyone. However, if you insist on taking me on a date, there will be a five hundred dollar fee. That five hundred dollar fee can <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Did I hear her right? She said she's single and celibate, and she's just done with men. But if you insist on taking her on a date, it's a $500 fee. Who do these think they are? <laughs> I I ain't even gonna say what I want to say. We pay through Zelle, Cash App, or Apple Pay. I'll send you my phone number, and you can send a mother. Then we can discuss an arrangement. However, if you decide that you're gonna text me or call me before you send the mother will be blocked. Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. Bro, this, this getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Who do you think you are? I want y'all to really think about what she's saying now. You got to put a $500 down deposit so you can take her on a date and possibly spend another $500 so she can eat. On top of that, she already letting you know that she's celibate, so you're not getting no cheeks. This gotta be fake, dog. This gotta be fake. This gotta be fake. There is no way you can do a video like this, rewatch it, and think that it's okay to let the internet see this. Y'all need to stop gassing these heifers. I'm sorry. It is way more humbled women out here who deserve your attention. That's crazy. Doing? Where's Joe? Um, he's pretty pissed off with me, so he's been. Um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So yeah. How long? How long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram. Um, and my. All right. So in case you lost, okay, I'm gonna bring you up to speed. This lady is the wife of a former NBA player, and he recently discovered that she had an OnlyFans account. Yeah, that's where we at right now. He's pissed off that his wife was busting it wide open on the internet for other men to see. Behind his back, of course. And um, let's hear what she got to say. <laughs> I, You know, let's hear what she got to say. My LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Um, it's no secret Joe's financial issues. I have always made a good life for myself. Why is she exposing this man Joe, like that? I was that? living overseas in Europe, and I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off you know, other things, but you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to, and I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I would. She has a point. She has a point. If somebody shows you who they are, if you still get in bed with them, it's your fault. It is your fault. I have a little situation. Um, I just bought a car. 
you know, I'm going to do a video on that. But I also went and bought another car at a buy hair, pay hair place. And I haven't gotten a car yet, but I have a feeling that I'm going to be disappointed. Now, before I swipe my card and, and drop my $5,000 on that piece of shit, I had a gut instinct to walk away. And I didn't. And while I was there, another disgruntled customer came in and there was almost a fight. And I still didn't walk away. And now I'm having buyer's remorse. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't I didn't really trust the people I was buying the car from, but I still bought it. Now, what I'm gonna say is if something goes wrong with the car. I'm not going to try to get my money back. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to try to get my money back. I'm going to just take the L. Simply because. I knew better. I knew better. Same situation like this. Joe. You knew your wife was a whore. You knew your wife was a harlot. You knew she was a harlot. Before you got involved. I'm just throwing that out there now. Tired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him, I figured, you know, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club business, the dog sitting business, and then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like, he works for my moving company. Why is you she know, exposing this man I'm like this? I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So, I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in. Because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living yeah. minimal. I did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to. And I'm sorry. You knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself. If I... On one hand, I blame Joe because he know he knew what he was getting himself involved with. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. All these Good women walking around. You went and married a freak. On the second hand, it is amazing. She blamed this whole situation on him. It is Joe's fault that you decided to be playing with your pussy online for money. Behind your husband's back. It is his fault. Damn. That's crazy. She has no remorse. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I'm be honest with you guys. And I know it's women on here that are going to agree with me. As a man, you have to maintain some level of respect in your household. Because if you can't do that, you're going to get disrespected in public. It's kind of like if you have kids. If you let your kids get away with whatever at home, they're going to embarrass you in public. If you let your woman disrespect you behind closed doors, she's going to disrespect you in public. 